Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. Which I know, for a lot of people, you're back at work. I apologize for that. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be playing some DW9 today. So this is the one that came second place on the poll. Um, after this, we'll probably go ahead and just go back to playing Warriors Auto G2 for a little bit. Grind out some more abilities and everything for maybe at least on Monday streams. Maybe Sunday streams if I just don't have things planned. I still have to make the schedule for later in the week, too. So, gonna have to try to figure out about that. But for now, yeah, we're gonna be doing some DDB9 today. We're gonna be playing with Zhong Hui's uh, DLC for a little bit. I haven't really touched it at all, as far as I remember. That or I don't remember anything, because was he was still the only one stuck on his first chapter. So I'm assuming I haven't done anything with him at all. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try him out today. Just play it, play it for a little bit today, probably for about an hour and a half, and see where it goes from there. So, uh, let's do it. Also, Nikki, Kristen, Aiden, Ayane, Little Ninja Gal, Super Sick Boy, Kenny, Matt, Akira, Yuki Sanada, and Usashi, and any lurks as well. Hope everyone's having a good day. Happy Monday, everybody. Again, I know for a lot of people, that, that's not really such a thing because you're back at work or school or something, but... Hopefully, uh, your Monday can be a little better today. The heroes that graced this chaotic period had exited, and the Battle of the Three Kingdoms had fallen into a deadlock. In Wei, Cao Shuang, who supported the young emperor Cao Fang, had grasped power. However, Cao Shuang was unable to read the times. He was negligent with governing and dug deeply into the treasury. He proceeded to drive away from governing the talented and shrewd Sima Yi. However, seeing these wretched conditions, he determines to get rid of Cao Shuang. In making his plans for this, he calls a certain individual to him. An extremely talented youth that had already showed signs. Of yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to go back into Warriors Auto 2 already. This youth stream was super fun. Was and just being able to way. just play as every character and get their abilities through that way was just really enjoyable to me. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm super down to be doing more of that soon. Zhong Hui, your reputation precedes you. You were a precocious youth and boast the genius to support the next generation. Yes, I get that a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, not the modest type, are you? Whether your genius justifies your attitude... Well, Tori, welcome up, you're doing good. Arrogance, I'll have to see for myself. Sorry, I woke up like 15 minutes ago, so I'm still very tired. He was the son At first, of I was Yao like, my phone fell Zhang off my family. bed because my my pillow, the pillow he that I had, way, wasn't really flat, so it wouldn't really stay on like a stable surface. History. And I guess I move around a lot in my sleep. The general in chief, Cao so I ended up just kind of like, I guess maybe knocking it off the bed. Thankfully, there was like a box right next to my bed, so it didn't go super far. But I was hearing like a faint, like beeping in my dream, and dream he was annoyed as hell. I woke up eventually. I'm like, where'd my phone go? In order to put an end but in dream me was like where's that sound coming from i like tried stuffing it John under like a blanket in my dream and turning it off and all that like what the hell's happening in order it was driving me nuts in my dream ambitions. but then uh eventually right my now, brain put two and two together is in a and uh at the current rate we are on the verge i looked over collapse. it's all it, for those of you who are curious it's only 9 30 a.m here I woke up at like 9.15. I normally try to wake up around that time, sort of like 9, 9.15. Right? The SEMA clan should be the ones with power, not that imbecile master. And uh, just so I can stream early in the morning so I can have the rest of the day to relax or get ready for work or something. That would be best for Wei is all I'm saying. Anyway, what exactly do you want me to do? <laughs> I have to admit, I like your style. I have no idea if Zhang Hui was already around at this time. I know this is a, supposed to be a hypothetical to thing, so I don't know. I was planning to take care of things then. But now, reports have come in that Shu is... Yeah, no, Dream Me was pissed off. I don't know why. 
I'd like to put a check. And then I woke, I woke, like, my dreamy was, like, super pissy, and, and then, like, it was weird, too, because before I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and doing pretty good. I was playing Duel Monsters. It did pretty decent. I, like, vaguely remember winning two and, like, losing one. You'll back me up. I don't know why, because I don't really play Duel Monsters I mean. at all. Just sit back and watch. Uh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh, though. With not only natural genius, but yeah, there was another time where I just like ended up in like well. some random place, and I just heard uh my phone, like my, my alarm going off, and I had my phone in my hand, and I was like grabbing it, and like I actually turned some off the phone on my dream, and it still kept beeping. Away. Like, what the fuck is going on? But then I woke up completely in a different mood. I'm like, I just woke up. Like, dream me is like a whole different man. I woke up, completely mellowed out. I'm like, where'd my phone go? Where, where is it? Where'd my phone go? It was because it was, it was on the pillow. I ended up putting it next to a flat pillow because I don't really have like a table or anything next to me. So I had to, uh, Figure out. Oh, we got the right horse. Nice. Also, I love this design so much. It's so good. So yeah, I was trying to figure out. I was like, where, where the hell is my? Where's my phone at? And I found out it was on the freaking uh, on the freaking floor. What's up, Graham? Welcome. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, it was just uh, it was just uh, on the box right below my bed, and I uh, just grabbed it. Like, oh, there it is. Just turned it off and, and got straight up. The way I spiked up after I realized what time it was, you would think that I woke up, like, realizing, like, oh, fuck, I gotta get up. But, like, part of it was just like, oh, yeah, I, I gotta stream. Which, so, so I was, like, perfectly fine with it. I was like, oh, all right. Time to stream. So, uh, that was, uh, that was my morning. Or not my morning. My morning's still technically happening, because obviously it's only 9.30. Well, 9.40 now. But, uh, yeah, I was just like, oh, it's time to get up. Okay. Like, I didn't, I did not give it a flying crap about it. I was like, oh, all right, time to go. Time to stream. And I've been having this weird thing when I turn on my PC for the first time of the day. Um, for some weird reason, my, my monitor, or when it's connected to, like, one of the monitors, it, the monitor just goes black. I have to like reset the PC again in order for it to actually work, and I don't know why it's doing that. But uh, it's driving me insane. So I'm glad I actually like realized that before I uh, did anything. Like the uh, the dumb fix is just like turn it off and turn it back on. But I hate the fact that I have to like waste time doing that. I don't even know why it's doing that to begin with. I don't know if that's a wire issue. I don't know if that's a PC issue or if it's just the monitor itself. Right now the monitor is fine. But it just, it just does that whenever I uh, turn it on for the first time. And it didn't do that when I first had it. It's just all of a sudden started doing that. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why it's doing that, like, at all. It's weird that I had to just, like, constantly restart in order for it to work. I don't know what the issue is there. Again, I don't know if it's the wire. Like, I'll probably try it out. Can you stop blocking me? I don't know if it's the the monitor. I don't know if it's the uh, the wire for it, the port for it in the PC or something, but it works perfectly fine once it's in. Like, audio works perfectly fine. Everything works perfectly fine. So, I'm like, I'm like what the fuck's the problem? Does he have the proper equipment on, too? Let me see. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. He has the one that's just full-blown XP build. But I don't have the one that does, like, multiple flips. I only got one flip on this build. Ooh, got a pop there. Oh, my alarm's still going off. I forgot I set, like, a thousand alarms so I can wake up in the morning. I don't know if anyone else does that. On, like, uh, I know for some people, they'll just try to sleep in, probably, on days they're off. But, um, and I still try to. At least, like, a couple hours more. Look at that pot. Or did I grab it already? Am I stupid? I think I am stupid. I already grabbed it. My brain's still asleep, so I apologize. But, um... Yeah, I said, I said like... One for, like, 9 o'clock. One for 9.15, 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, 10... I think that, then I'm, like... 
I think after that, I'm like, I kind of mellow myself a little bit. I'm like, all right, I'll give myself another 30 minutes if I don't make it past 10 o'clock. I'll give myself 10.30, and then the latest I would wake up is 11 o'clock. But I always try to make sure I wake up to my first alarm. And normally I do, unless I'm, like, really tired or someone or something or me just keeps myself up, like, very late at night. What the fuck am I doing here? Oh, I was had to defeat a certain number of enemies. Okay. I was like, what the hell am I doing here? Ooh, another explosive pot. I know I need those for, like, specific missions anyway, so let me put that in my ass. Yeah, I just had so many alarms just to make sure I actually do wake up at a proper time. Because if, uh, if I don't, I get... I, honestly, I love... If there's a time of the day I love the most, it's morning. So if I don't have the morning for me, I'm like super pissy. I'm like, damn it, I slept my morning away. Damn it. My day's basically halfway done already. So I at least try to set it for like 9 o'clock at the earliest. That way I at least will get like an extra two hours of sleep. So I wake up around 7 o'clock every morning for work. But I just give myself an extra two hours of sleep, which definitely makes a difference. I went to bed at a good time last night, so I'm like feeling good. Ish. <laughs> oh, God! I don't remember his Muso at all. Oh, yeah, what is his Muso, actually? Because he's got a whole new weapon. Aside from this really dorky-looking loop. Oh, he has poison. Interesting. Okay. Ow. Oh, so it's Muso's poison while uh, the special attack is uh, just the slash thing or blade moveset, whatever it is. I don't know why I thought he was a lightning dude. I may change it up to make it to where he only has uh, slash and poison. Since that looks to be his element. I need to see what his aerial Muso is, too. But yeah, I think regardless, this will just be a one-off stream. I don't know if I'll go through the entirety of this at all on camera. But, um, we'll see. Maybe do what I did with Yuan Shu and just make it like a... Well, no, I technically did Yuan Shu on, um... I did Yuan Shu last Sunday and Monday. So I did it two days in a row, but... We'll see if I even care to do Zhong Hui's. And I know if I don't feel good with the weapon, I can always change it, but we'll see what happens. I'm honestly just more excited to go back into Warriors OG2 because I'm pretty sure y'all crushed that pull with just me continuing it. I gave a yes or no for people who just want me to just grind out abilities in Warriors OG2, and that was a nine over like 90% of people said yes, so yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll just go ahead and just continue that next week. Or maybe later this week. Because I don't have any plans on what to do for this week at all. This is the Ruby and Abby. Hello, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Oh shit! I gotta stop those people. Oh, I can't move. Did I fail already? They're running after me, so I imagine I failed. Wow! I just got here and the fucking dude died already. Wow! I haven't had like an actual like failure of an objective in a very long time. Holy shit! Works a bore, so your stream is helping. Hey, I appreciate it. All right, try that again, I guess. Yeah, thanks for actually putting me in the right spot. I do at least appreciate that, because I was on the complete opposite side when I started. He wants to light the fire. Is he dead? No, because I'd be, I wouldn't be moving if that were the case. Oh, no, he's right there. Okay, he's fine. I literally just spawned in. Like, not spawned in. I literally, like, came into this objective and basically just lost immediately. And now he doesn't have a health bar, so I'm guessing he's fine now. That was, uh, that was interesting. Oh, are we done? Was that actually... That was the whole objective? This is bad. We've lost numerous supply depots. Okay, I was about to say, is it this one? Because this one seems to be in very good repair. I guess it wasn't that one. 
Okay. Good game. Complete edition slash uh, PlayStation hit, by the way. Okay, that's the main objective to the left of me, so we still got to do this one over here. I'm really glad that they got rid of the limited stamina in Nine Empires. I bet there's like almost like really no big reason for me to go back into that game ever again. And then there's me suggesting Monster Hunter. Well, that depends which Monster Hunter. I've played World and Rise, I think. I, n I never beat both either one, but uh, like I didn't hate them. Oh, I kind of like the voice for Yui Yang. I know it was one voice line. I'm not saying the delivery on it's fantastic, but the, the voice kind of fits her. That's good. Those will just be destroyed. That's good. Oh yeah, there was um, there was just some random game that I was playing last night with Ali that I might. It was it's a single player game, but I might put it on stream one day, maybe this week if I don't have any ideas. Uh, it was I think it was called Coffee Talk. It was just some random like coffee like game where you can make coffee and talk to your customers. I think. And there's like a little story that goes behind it and everything too. So I might play that on stream, maybe. World because I recently got uh, back into back on got back into it on PC and grabbed both base game and expansion to redo my prog uh, since on PS4. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I think I had it on. Yeah, I think I had it on PS4. I got Rise on PC because all my friends were playing it on PC. But I didn't play it as often as them because. Uh, I think mostly just streaming work because they would play it at different times when I was working and uh, just not so much lack of interest. It's just I normally don't have interest unless uh, unless I'm playing with people. But who knows? Maybe I could stream that one day and maybe go solo with it. See how it is when I'm by myself. I just never know what the hell I'm doing with that game. Looking at it from here, our enemy is quite a strategist. So, there was someone in way that was this talented. It took so long to build up this plan. I have to get it back on track. Yeah, I know we played with at least I don't know if I ever played with like a full lobby of people, but I know I played with at least two other friends. At least them a lot. Where the fuck did you come from? Yo, also 69, by the way. Level 69, nice. Ah, it's gone now. Rip. I want to see what the uh, aerial Muso is. Ow. Wow, that was a very lackluster Muso, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really feeling his Musos that much. The moveset on this thing's not too bad, though, I guess. Granted, it drops pretty good. Your aerial combos and all that. There we go. value their officers? If so, they shouldn't be sending them to fight me. We'll pull back for now. However, I will Barashi does sound like a literal child. I swear that I will one day resume our march north. Okay, you, you have fun with that, buddy. Hmm. So you intend to invade again? I can only hope he gives us some peace for a time. With this, Wei's situation should change. The Sima family will take the lead. Get out of here, dude. Wong. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only DLC I haven't finished yet. I may be actually close. I don't think I finished Sao P's either yet, but I think I'm really close Everything to his being done. I didn't bother doing that one.
All at but least all of them were on their last chapter. I just to keep got around to actually doing it. Yeah, at it most it's a teenager. At most. Hmm. You've got quite the mouth on you. At the very least, your brilliance makes up for that arrogant attitude of yours. And just like that, the Shu army has been kept at bay. Your cunning never ceases to amaze me, father. Zhao. We haven't got time to be sitting around, admiring one another. Going forward, we're going to be fighting enemies both internally and externally. Rather than making Father anxious by forcing him to handle the situation, we should have simply eliminated all elements of danger. If we can't do that, it'll only cause problems for us later. She... I assume that you know what we must do. Within Wei, there are many with ties to the Cao clan. We need to make proper use of those without such ties, like Deng Ai and Zheng Hui. That is all that Father meant to say. Yeah, but then a lot of them end up like betraying the, both of the, the Sima family like later down the line, so. To serve she dutifully. Yes. Got it. I don't really like the idea of being forced to work with this old guy. But whatever, I'll just have to go out there and make a show of my superiority. Now that's that any fucking louder? I guess I should start getting prepared. Hey there. I've heard something that might be of interest to you. I got some information from those spies we sent to Luoyang. Apparently, Master Xia Ba is scheming to defect to Shu. Shu, you say? I never imagined he'd join up with Father's nemesis. This news is probably enough to have surprised even Xia Yuan on the other side. Yeah, bro, just turns around and assumes First, no one's paying Zhao attention Shuang to him. Xiao is executed. Then Master Xia Shuen was called back to the capital. Maybe That'd be hilarious. He starts his uh, his whole rebellion, and then everyone's fully aware of his shit because he's literally like, "How did you all know?" He's like, "You literally would just turn around in the middle of our conversations and just talk out loud." Who the fuck wouldn't hurt hear you? That is something stupid and funny like that. Based on their family lineage, is uncalled for. If she is really so incompetent as to try and become a dictator, he'll need to be ousted, son or not. I see. So Master Xiao Ba simply had fears that were groundless. In that case, I'll just get out there and stop him. As far as he knows, I had nothing to do with Zhao Shuang's downfall. Rather than you talking to him directly, it'd be easier to go through me. Don't you agree? Very well. Oh yeah. There's just one other thing. What? After we've got Master Xiao Ba back on our side, make sure to give him a post he'll be content with. That way, it'll be easier for me to persuade him. Oh, is he actually going to be staying with Jin? Hmm. All right. It shall be done. You have my word that Xiao Ba will be promoted. As will you, of course, for all your hard work. Thank you for not making me have to ask. <laughs> what a dick. Shaho Ba's getaway. Was oh, that literally just? Master Shaho Ba is so short-sighted. I will personally go and drag him back. No matter what I say, they won't be so quick to agree with me. The most effective way will be to cut off any escape. Oh, there goes my other alarm. My 10 o'clock alarm. I'm not giving this place to anyone. Reporting! We have discovered Master Shuffle! 
Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, so I did stop. I guess I got the base. All right. I've captured this area. Oh, I guess I have to just keep going, I guess? It also says just prevent it from fleeing. All right. Guess I'll just move to the next sub base, I guess? I guess that one's just keeping it there so I know where he is, I guess. But I'm not supposed to actually go into combat with him yet. Maybe? Maybe I do? I don't know. Oh, we actually got, uh, options this time. So technically, instead of chasing after him... Looks like I need to change my escape route to flee. So instead of actually, like, chasing after him, we're trying to get ahead of him, so that way we can just prevent him from actually leaving. Interesting. So good. I'm assuming I got this base as well now. Oh shit, he did change his route. What a dick. Clever guy. Oh, I see him running in the distance. <laughs> Even if he goes just, like, west, doesn't that still make it to where he's still after, like... Oh, I see. There's, like, actual specific, like, base captains I need to kill. I got it. That'll technically air quotes capture the base. Okay. Oh, bro's running for it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was like, peace out, bro. I'm, I'm done. I've captured this area. All right, got this base. But he's technically just... Go oh, my bad, bro. It's broke. <laughs> I broke it, they rebuilt it just so I could break it again by accident. Whoops. I didn't realize the my bow captain was gonna be there instead. Yeah, like he's going west. He's still like north, but he's going west. Like I guess technically shoes west, but he's going like northwest in a way. So he's still in way territory. Did we talk this out? I love Shaho Ba's voice actor. Alright. Well, I gotta just keep going, alright. I've captured this area. His, uh, his... His voice work is just as good as in the base game. Which is kind of funny. There's something I want to defend. I'll do all I oh, can what the fuck? In pink? Oh, she sure is here. I never got around to fighting Shing Tsai, actually, I just realized. Please, save me. Try to help out that, I guess. Is that like a side objective now? I don't know, it's still the same thing. Going to get caught by the pursuit? Piss off, you stupid beast. I've captured this area. Just keep throwing my swords at them. Don't waste any more of my time. Where's your commander? If you don't tell me, I'll cut you down right here. Please, spare my life. The person you are looking for is over there. Over there? Ah, Jung Wei. We cannot allow you to pass here. Too bad, I'm gonna pass here. Please return to Wei. Oh, they're talking to Shahobah, never mind. I they're talking to me. Let's pay attention, idiot. So enveloped. 
There's a lot of characters in this game that just sound insanely goofy. Jahoba easily sounding like one of them. Be gone. Bitch. Alright, that's another base done. The enemy value their officers? If so, they shouldn't be sending them to fight me. One of my favorites, which I don't necessarily hate, but I just love how like goofy he sounds and like nerdy, is uh Lushun. Lushun in the English stuff sounds insanely nerdy and I love it so much. It sounds like an absolute dork that would absolutely get shoved in the locker. The amount of damage that does is insane. Just holding down the uh, knockdown attack. You're the one I saw on the battlefield at that time. If you want to drag Master Shaho Ba back, you'll have to go through me. I mean, so far I'm doing pretty good at doing that. You can try to attack me whenever. My weapon won't move like I want it to. Just too exhausted from all the preparations I've been doing for our I was about to say, I mean, it sounds like you're just too weak to swing your weapon, but then he just admitted that. Fair enough. Jung Wei got Jung Wei's got no shame. I I appreciate that. I respect it. Alright, so now what? Do I go kill Do I go fight Shaho Ba now after all this? Oh yeah, just just defeat him now. Alright. What if I could have just done that from the start? Also, I like how Shing Sai's there, but you never had any interaction with her whatsoever. You just, just, just chilling out there. Didn't even take part in this at all. What? Hello? Teleportation? Cheater? Master Shaho Ba, if you turn now, I will guarantee your safety and position. That's just too good of a proposition. I believed you in return. You'd be executed, right? We cannot allow you to pass here. Master Shahopa needs to return to Wei. Hey! Can't we talk this out? Oh, I just realized it's literally the exact same uh, voice line. That was sent for you, Master Shahoba. Isn't it time you just gave up and returned to Wei? Damn. The Shu forces were defeated? Alright then. Looks like I'm gonna have to defeat you to leave here. Shaho's vo Shahoba's voice is easily like the one that people memed the most when they heard it, especially when he like found out about his dad's My death. Has failed. With this much interference, there's no way I can get away. Okay, okay, I give up. I will return to way with you. So then I just have to wag my tail at the Sima family, right? Yes. No. Oh. The one who wants you isn't the Sima family. It's me. In exchange, I guarantee your position and safety. Work with you? Why would... Oh, well. Right now, I have no choice but to obey. Ooh. Alright, let me make sure I turn off the rest of my alarm so it doesn't keep happening. Um. There's something I need to tell you. A messenger sent by Wang Ling has paid me a visit. Wang Ling? A loyal vassal who has long served Wei. I imagine he wishes to join the fight to stop the tyrannical Sima clan? Ah, always the quick one, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> now then, how shall God. we proceed? It's obvious. Let's get out there and set up a trap. If we can prevent the rebellion before it starts and get that cur to join us, my promotion will be set in stone. I'll have every means I want at my disposal. 
That's exactly what I thought you'd say. It just makes me feel better to say it out loud. Guo Huai's wife is Wang Ling's younger sister. If Wang Ling really does start a rebellion, we don't know how he'll react. I see. If we get Guo Huai to owe us a debt, and then get him to put in a good word for Lord Sima Yi, our road to success will be open before us. Sound about right? Oh, hold on. If that's the situation, Master Guo Huai will also be trying to prevent the rebellion. He'll probably be more than willing to cooperate with us. Yeah, so congrats. You're going to be here this for an hour and a half. Yeah. Is that it? Okay, I understand you now. I will quietly stop Wang Ling's rebellion. If it goes right, all the credit will go to me. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, uh. Understood. <laughs> oh, it's doing one of those that they don't even voice the lines. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still outside the castle, idiot. Oh no, it's a stealth mission. Oh no. That ain't right. Come on. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Oh, I hate everything. These suck. I, I just fell in the water. Get, get up. Do these guys turn around? If they do, I'm fucked. Maybe they learned their lesson. Maybe they just won't fucking move. Hey, you. Yeah, the DDB9, uh, for anyone who doesn't have any context, the DDB9, uh, stealth missions are actually ass. In this. Okay, not going that way. Also, yeah, little funny note, though, at least, uh, the music does go very quiet when you actually crouch, which is kind of funny. I know there's a crate there. I'm just trying to finish this bullshit. Got some like quiet secret. We got some secretive, uh, secretive. Excuse me. Music going. On. I can't just see from that. Yeah, there's one where you do it. I think you play with uh, Wu. And I think it's starting the Fawn Castle battle. And goddamn, does that thing suck. Because the I think the people move around, and I think the lookouts are like... Okay, I can't go that way, unfortunately. Their line of sight was actually bullshit. So they actually made it to where you like, were struggling really bad against it. I think I did eventually manage to do it, but I it was just really, really rough.
Oh, so I saw the great. Oh, shout out to my lookout. My hideaway. <laughs> She's in the system. Egg? All right. What's up, dude? I'm back. Hmm. <coughs> oh, okay. Ooh, a lot of explosive barrels. If I don't use these, I can actually probably... I guess I should probably use it. I use it now? They don't really seem to give a shit about me. They're just carrying on with their lives. Oh, yeah, no. They don't really seem to care. I'm ready to shoot this thing and hopefully do some damage. Show them no mercy. Hey, can you guys move real quick? Sorry, just move. Thank you. The enemy wants us to panic. Oh, I didn't even blow up the rest of them. Where's my chain reaction? I did do some damage to him, though. He's on his last health bar already, which is funny. That was underwhelming. Didn't even make an explosion. I mean, we got him, I guess. All right. This what a mission. That nothing is impossible for me. Your deeds Wait, we didn't we didn't take out all the pop all those pots. Let me grab this one. Huh? Up my ass. All right, let's go. Uh I guess this one's technically the closest. Yeah, it is. It wasn't like a lake. Okay, there wasn't. Okay. What's up, Navir? Welcome. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, the it's so, I remember the boom sometimes happening, but there are other times where it just goes dead silent, or the boom just like gets very, very silent or quiet for some reason. I don't know why. I haven't even fully leveled up this horse yet. Not that I plan to. God knows when I play this game after this stream. It's very interesting that people really actually do like me playing this game. I know someone ended up actually commenting, like, co or complying to somebody. With a, uh, with, like, apparently, let me see, actually, I'm going to pull it up and see exactly what they said. Apparently, I, like, like I make disasters enjoyable to watch or something, which is kind of funny. I still got the Mission Impossible music in my head, by the way. <laughs> you brought it up, and now I can't get rid of it. Not that I mind. Banger song. It was stealth food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we'll get a DB10? I'm assuming we'll get one eventually, yeah. It's been kind of long enough for another Warriors game to probably happen eventually. In some way, shape, or form. Whether or not it's like a Summer Warriors 5-2, because it's been about two years since that game came out. This one's almost... I think after... It's almost six years old sure. at this point, which is wild to think about. Is it? Wait, 2018, yes. 19, 20, 21? Yeah, it's almost six years old next year. Because we're already... Um, it's five years right now, but it's almost six years old already, which is crazy to think about. I've been playing this fucking game on my channel for six years. What am I doing here? And they're moving? What am I doing? Oh, it says defeat all the messengers. Okay. I guess that's easy enough. Oh no! We've been discovered! Sure have. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna try to get that other guy over there. I probably should have went from like furthest to uh, closest. Or closest to furthest. 
pretty sure that scroll at the far left is uh, their escape point. I should have got this guy first, but it's not a big deal. Got him anyway. <laughs> I don't know, his tone of voice with that was just so funny to me. Oh, okay, I just got to report back now. Okay. This game is so silly with its dialogue. I will say, I still think DB3's uh, voice acting is still the most iconic, but uh, this one's definitely got some funny ones. Then it's just got some borderline really bad ones. Hmm. The generics, honestly, are probably the comedy, and then some of the other ones are just, like, some of the playable character ones are just really fucking bad. Yeah, we'll probably take, like, another, like, another break of this game. Not because I'm burnt down on it, but, I mean, I haven't really played much of it, to be fair. But, um... I truly want to go back to playing Warriors Oto 2 2. And not to mention, I probably have to go back and play uh, Warriors, or uh, Samurai Warriors 2 on my Xbox. So, for those of you who probably missed that, this, uh, yeah, yesterday's stream when I played Warriors Oto 2 2. At the beginning of the stream, I mentioned that uh, for some reason, it said I had my save files for SW2 on my 360, but it kept asking me to create a new save file, so I had to completely restart my SW2. Thankfully, I have the Extreme Legends version, so I have all the characters unlocked already. I just had to redo their stories again, which kind of sucks, but... I wasn't aiming for, like, doing anything, like, super crazy, because I technically 100 percent of that game already in, uh, on the PS2. But it was my first time playing the Extreme Legends characters, and, uh, I guess I have to go back and do that now. Which kind of blows. Did I ever play as Toshie on stream? Maybe I can do that for a fun stream, play as Toshie. Like what is happening here? We can disrupt them. Well, oh, okay. I just have to kill them. I saw a line of sight thing. I'm like, oh, wait. Are they? Am I supposed to be stealthing this? Defeat, okay, just defeat the transport units. Okay. Enemy. Enemy attack. Resist them with all What's up, Omega? Welcome up. You're doing good. Yeah, we got the arrogant uh, pretty boy, yeah. Bro's never had a bad design in his life, too, in these games. I think 7, 9, and then 8 in terms of that order are my favorites. Oh, I completely agree. I think the swords, the flying swords in uh, aid, not to mention very unique, but uh, they were also just really fun to play with. Musos were dope, and this one they're a huge downgrade. This weapon still kind of suits him a little bit. It's still pretty, it's still a pretty good weapon. You get like multiple swords in one hand, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, no, the flying swords are definitely way better. They're definitely superior to this weapon. Ooh, level grinding on Wolong, nice. Yeah, I do need still to get to. I still need to finish the third difficulty. It's just I need to grind to get the certain levels, and I guess I can get make like a good build that can give me a lot of like um I don't know what they call it in that game, like spirits or whatever, to like get it to where you can or souls. I know that's what they call it in Dark Souls. Like get a lot of like XP that way. Maybe I'll try to find a make try to make a good build that can do that instead. That give me a lot of that. I'm assuming that's probably the way to do it. Probably put on like your weapons and your outfits and everything. If you even can put it on your weapons. With me here, I'm guessing that's the way to do it. Never in doubt. Or do they just call it Chi? I think it's just QI Chi. You were sent by Sima E. We cannot end our plan like this. How the fuck am I gonna get across? I guess I'm gonna have to just swim. All right. I'm gonna have to do it back in the old days when they showed it off, like when they were showing off gameplay for this game, and they just had Shaho Dune doing this the whole time. Riveting gameplay. Oh, I guess it's just here. Dude, I don't even know how I figured out you guys were here. I don't even know. Got a mail today that my Marvel Spider-Man 2 collector's edition is already prepared for the delivery. I hear it. Uh, so I'm getting it this Friday. Ooh. Bad luck Friday the 13th. Oh, is it actually going to be Friday the 13th coming up? 
Is it actually? I'm curious now. Wow, I did not know that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I still need to get the game. I'm gonna just purchase it when I get my when I get paid coming up. Get the deluxe edition probably. Wow, you have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors. Don't go swimming or bathing on Friday or Jason Voorhees gets you. Damn. Watch this. Watch this. At least, this, at least this story gives me some fights every once in a while, but so far it feels like we've just been doing a bunch of little skirmishes for the most part. I think we did like technically like one little main battle and that was it. Alright, now all we have left is just the main objective. Uh, it looks like we need to rethink our plans. The other side is just a little better. Just a little greener. That nothing is impossible for me. Your deeds make me feel as if I'm brimming with energy again. Well, this is the John Quay DDB not uh DLC, I mean. So I don't know how long this one is. I'm assuming it goes all the way just to the final chapter. Of like the whole story of the game, I mean. I think every DLC is like had like what two like three or four chapters. We so. They're reading all our moves. Oh, this is DB6 music. Push the enemy back. Oh, he was not in here. Oh, did some of them? Did some of them defect? Master Huang Va, you cannot hide things from me. <laughs> oh, did I actually? Yes. Oh, yeah. Some of them just fucking. I think betrayed him. Damn. Planning on betraying Wang Ling, then hurry and get on with it. Okay. Is everyone ready to charge at the enemy? Good. After me. God, my arm is so fucking sore from working out. Jesus Christ, I am in pain. Our rebellion against the seal of Babylon has failed. Oh, is it over? Like we have no oh, we didn't get to fight him. Surrender. Oh, okay. All right, I, wanna, I was like, like hoping to beat his ass a little bit first, but all right, whatever. I have no desire to play the dog to the seam of family. I'd rather just go out with a bang here. Blows himself up. Then how about betting that life of yours on me? You want to get rid of the Sema family, don't you? What? Don't tell me you understood. I will take that bet. Good work, Zhong Hui. I've heard the details. Yeah, him and uh, him. It's uh, Zhang Zhao and Stu Xu, I think, have like the most shortest DLC stories. Or DLC. Uh, sto shortest stories in the base game. Led to grow wide effective. Thanks to you, the rebellion has been prevented. Probably Dan Wei fits that bill too. I think. I think those three have like the the shortest uh, stories. Zushu is literally, I think, just one battle. Same with Zheng Jiao. I don't know how long Dan Wei's is. I think his is a couple battles, but not not too many. I am granting you a promotion. Wow. From this point forward, I will be stepping down from the center stage. I leave the rest to you to do as you wish. You're not going to order me to support Lord Sima Shi? Even if I did say such a thing, it would never prevent you from pursuing your ambitions. Or perhaps I should say, there is no need for you to stop pursuing them. Oh yeah, Sinji and Stu's pretty short. Ends up ruling the land has got to be someone with talent. But he had a couple. He had a couple battle. He had a few battles with his 
Hu Xiu only had one. Jing Jiao only had one. I think Dan Wei probably had like two, three. When the time comes, I think Sun Jian at least had a few. Over this land. I'm glad you see it was still way. short, but it wasn't this too bad. Point, I can't help but feel like I'm a little in your debt. Don't worry, though. I'll make sure to live up to your expectations. I shall walk the path of success. As far as it goes. So you're Zheng Hui. I've heard plenty about you. The precocious youth that was given an important... Hey, look at Wen Young's design. Pretty good. Nice to meet you. Bet he uses the fucking pizza cutter. From here out, there will be plenty of situations where we'll need to help each other out. By all means, I hope we can become close friends. Yeah, dude. Oh, all right, bye. We must take our leave. Okay. Peace, bro. Wen Qin is only out to use you for his own gain. Catching the attention of that scoundrel is nothing short of disastrous. You actually I spotted a unicorn. That was the first thing I noticed on his design was his like fucking with his horn. This is fortuitous. A scoundrel like that might actually make for a useful pawn when the time comes. Okay. Oh, okay. These cutscenes aren't super long. Right That's now, good, at least. Land is in utter chaos. It's the perfect opportunity to crush Wu, Guan Xiujian, Zhuge Dun, and Zhang Hui. And Dong and Liu Bei have the longest story from chapter one to the final chapter ten. Victory. Damn. Yes, sir. I promise I shall not let you down. Very well. Now then, make your preparations to deploy. If I can put up results in a grand battle like this, I'm sure to make a name for myself. Hmm. Looks like the path to success is. I'm getting fucking blinded by his armor. Let's see if we can't put these gathered pawns to good use. Hey! Even without <laughs> fucking way, wolves? Those U troops hung in there for a while. But with me here, it was all What's up, Hayden? Welcome, what we'll be doing good. Or how many things we got here? Oh, not too many. I don't mind that at least, like that they're not super long, but Okay, here we go. Now we're now we're actually battling properly. Now we're cooking. I say a lot of it was mostly just skirmish battles from the feel. Oh, well, there goes him. Oh, he just popped back up. Okay. Which character's story is my favorite? Either... I'd probably say either Zhou Yu's or Guo Jia's uh, DLC stories. Jen Gong's was really good, too. Those are probably, like, my top three. Actually, no. This one's going to be a shot in the dark for a lot of people. Or, uh, kind of, but, uh, Dong Bai's is probably my favorite. Weirdly enough. Dong Bai had actually a really, like, entertaining story. Master Zhang Hui, we've located ambush troops at the enemy supply depot. They could launch a supplies attack. Do you think I won't be able but, uh, to the other two DLC, but the Zhou Yu and, um... Consider it captured. I'll be taking some troops with Zhou Yu's and Guo Jia's are probably, like, two and three for me. They're DLC stories, I mean. The base game stories, I don't have a favorite, but the DLCs are definitely enjoyable. Just because they were mostly hypoth- they were all hypothetical stories. You're entwined in my strategy. And they weren't, like, super it, long or drawn out, either. Which I really liked. Yeah, we must always look. 
Looks like someone beat us to the ambush. Yeah, the ones that lasted like a very, very long time, like like mentioned, like Liu Bei's, Han Dong's, Guan Yu's were definitely the harshest ones. Because of how much of a damn grind it was. Even that Empire is my male MC. I don't know if I have six children. Jesus Christ. That poor girl. Not because of your male LC MC, but goddamn she Six children? before it's gone. <laughs> For real. Six goddamn children? I would... I would probably just die. An amazing show of might and force. There's still somebody over here. I mean, it's just another assault captain. For you, and there should be one over here, too. Oh, yeah, actually, let me, uh, let me reforge my weapon and actually put on the right elements for this, because he's, uh, he's got poison and slash. So, we'll put on... We'll put... Slash for this one, yeah. Alright, we'll put on... I guess that one. And then the other ones could be poison, I guess. Oh, whoops. That would probably help out a lot better. There we go. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bum, ba -da bum 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 That works. that one then we'll put on that one and then we'll try to find one more for poison like so there we go I'm guessing you I'm guessing if you had like six fucking children with them, I'm assuming you just replayed the story like six times Ah, uh, goaded design of you, Angie. Love that design a lot. Very, very good design of you, Angie. This proves that nothing is impossible for me. Well, the reason I'm I'm putting poison on it is because his Muso is uh, poison for some weird reason, while his uh, his special is slash. So I'm sticking to the elements that his character has. So technically, he has two elements, but yeah, no, I try to I usually try to stick with just the uh, just the one. That has the that goes to uh, the special because I'm also that same way. I try to go with the uh, element that's like best for them. Be yeah, since his Muso is also, I didn't mean to do this one. What a terrible Muso, visually at least. It's just very underwhelming Muso. Oh, is it over? Did it win? Oh, no, there's a lot more scrolls. Never mind. Yeah, I'll try to show off the uh, regular Muso in a second. Yeah, you'll be able to see here. For some reason, he has poison for his Muso, and then his special is uh, Slash. Whatever they call the bladed one. Like this. Very interesting. Yeah, no, I miss the floating. I, I miss the floating swords too a lot. It bothers me so much. The Oxyal has three elements. R one is wind. Uh, ground Muso is fire, and uh, air is lightning. Oh wow. I did not realize that. Holy shit. 
Is it Fuggo? Let's just put whatever looks decent, whatever looks best. Or suitable for the situation. Your female MC and Lugu have 12 children? Jesus Christ. I can't move. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was about to go back to the pause menu. I was hoping someone was going to come over and hit me eventually. Oh, I was hitting every button. Trust me. I was hitting every button. All right, not gonna grapple hook that way, I guess. Maybe this way? Right, I only have one. Oh, we're fine over here, it's a flat one. Flat wall, now oh, we're good. Oh, this is just, this is Hefei, isn't it? Yeah, this is Hefei. Ow, 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 ow. Excuse me. Everyone band together for the defense. We can't allow the enemy inside. Thank you for the blast, thank you. Oh. I just can finish off Ding Pong now. I felt that one in my chest. God damn that hurt. <laughs> Even the enemies too, yeah. You are really somebody I can depend on. Thank nah, just having a little bit of a sneeze. Happens every once in a while. Just had that little tickle. Sure know how to fight. My room is surprisingly pretty damn cold in here, though. But I do have a blanket around me. So I'm feeling very... I'm, I'm honestly feeling insanely comfortable at the moment. My hands are the only thing that are, like, actually cold right now, because obviously I had... I have been, like, sticking out. In case I need to type or, uh... Put the gun properly without my blanket getting in the way. What are those things called that, like, you can, like... They're, they're kind of like, um... They're kind of like a blanket, but they're also like a little jacket. What are they called? A snuggie? Or some shit like that? Praise the guys are using the DLC horse whose color matches your character's kingdom. Oh, I always do that, yeah. Every time I do that. The only time I play with uh, somebody that doesn't have the, uh, like, that doesn't match their kingdom is Lu Ling Chi, because technically, A, they don't have a kingdom horse for other. So I give her the uh, the Wu horse, the tiger horse, because it fits her color palette so well. It's insane. It's like the horse was actually made for her instead of the characters of Wu. It looks, it's a white and red horse, and her outfit's white and red. So I was like, oh my god, this is like a perfect look for her. This is like her own specific horse. I love it. With me here, our victory is never in doubt. Yeah, the Snuggie is the point with the arm sleeves, yeah. I was like, that thing looks pretty cool. We're starting to get some slightly colder weather around here, especially during the er, the mornings and nights, so. Okay, thank you. Where the fuck are we? What is this place? I don't remember this area. The whole fortress. The fuck? What battle is this for? Is this still for Huffay? Like, in the base game? Wow, he did not last long. I kind of like this area, this camp. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, 
You know, cold weather means snuggles? Oh yeah, for sure. My favorite time of the year. Hate summer, hate the heat. Love the cold. Wish the cold lasted longer. To be fair though, I will say, um, spring actually, spring normally was like normally unbearable too. Oh God, I can't get over that. Uh, spring was also uh, actually pretty damn good this year. Aside from allergies, it was actually, weather-wise, it was beautiful, which is a very big first for this area. The last couple years have been um, surprisingly really nice and during spring, and then when summer came around. Surprisingly, this year's summer didn't actually break the hundreds at all. Like, with the UV and everything, it was like, it feels like that, but like, in terms of like, the, the highs, it was never actually over 100 degrees. It was like 90-something every once in a while, but uh, never like 100, which shocked the hell out of me. We kind of lucked out this year with the, the heat. Don't think you've won. I think we're still going to get some like warm weather, I think, later in the week. I think this one's going to be like low 70s and 60s. But uh, later in the week, it's going to be... Uh, I think it's supposed to be like 80 again. I just dropped my controller. I was trying so hard to hold on to my controller. And I Sorry, horse. I didn't mean to call you. God, mercy. Okay, I can go up here. Ooh, it's in the 40s right now? God damn. That's my kind of weather. I hope we actually do get a cold weather this year over here. I would love some snow for once. We haven't had snow in a good minute. I don't think we got any this year. If anything, it was just like a little little sleep. Hello, Princess Lightning. Hello. Welcome. Hope you're doing good. Remember heat that don't let you sleep, the sweat running down at your face while you lay in your bed. You smell the next morning. Ugh. Thankfully, I have a window unit to at least combat that, but yeah, no, that's rough. And we just recently got a new air, like a new uh, AC unit last year, so that's at least running good, too. So happy we ended up getting that thing. But even then, it was still struggling every once in a while because it's just how bad the heat was over here. Yeah, as soon as I got the window unit from my bedroom, I was like, yep, this is I'm gonna be using this a lot. This thing's gonna get some mileage. When's DW8 coming out? Or DB10? Uh whenever they announce DW10. We'll find out that answer. Unfortunately, they haven't even announced it. We are in the drought, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the drought. Big old drought. I've gone and gotten myself into a trap. Oh, idiot! Oh, trust me. I know there's a lot of people who keep asking me about it. Uh, who also really say they want a new, need a new game. And I'm kind of in that same boat. Because, like, aside from playing, like, really, really good good old games, like, these newer games just haven't hit. Trust me, I've been doing content on this game for six fucking years. I think I'm ready for a new game, too, people. <laughs> I've been doing content on the I've at least played this game a few times a year. I'm ready for new content, too. I hate that Dynasty Warriors 9 in terms of Dynasty Warriors games is our newest form of content, minus 9 Empires. I'm ready for a new game. Trust me. I've been playing this game for almost six goddamn years. I hate it. And it's weird. Like, I like DWA, but I just don't find that much enjoyment out of playing the game anymore. Probably because I played that game for so many years. Definitely been almost... I think it's been almost 10 years. No, it's... Yeah, it has been 10 years. I think it came out in 2013. That game. If you need to hit 10 years to manifest DB10, that'd be absolutely cringe. If I have to play this game for another like eight, like four years, I'm gonna probably just end my life. During the spinoffs like Fire Emblem Warriors, the Three Hopes one was really good. I tried out the first game and I didn't like it, but I did hear Three Hopes was actually pretty good, so I might try it out eventually. We'll see. I'm not super keen on Fire Emblem games, but I'll probably give it. I'll probably give it a shot. Yeah, DW8's yeah. 10 years. Yeah, I've been playing DW8 for like 10 years straight, and uh, I never really got. I never really played DW7 that much. Maybe that's why I enjoy seven more right now. It's because I just haven't played it as often as eight. Yeah, I'm just ready for something new. I ended up finding a lot of enjoyment for Warriors Odyssey 2 at least. So next time, maybe. Oh, I thought the screen went black for a second. So, again, either later this week or just 
Sunday or Monday we'll play that game. Like I said, I think at least for one of the days, I'll probably do like a very, very chill game. I think it's just like a nice little like kind of like uh, talking sim in a way. But it's like I think it was just I think it was called Coffee Talk. Just a really nice little chill game, just like talking with people at your uh, at your coffee place at like midnight apparently. Because your place opens up at midnight. Yeah, I'll give that a shot and see what it's like. We tried out at least a little bit of it, Ali and I, last night, and uh, it was pretty enjoyable. It's nice and chill. Gets some nice chill vibes. Some nice pixel art, too, so uh, I liked it. Yeah, I'll probably give it a shot uh, later, to the, uh, later this week. Don't mind me chronically replaying Warriors Odyssey 3 Ultimate. Yeah, I played that game. That game I've definitely played the most between, like, DW4 and probably SW2. Those games I've definitely played the most. I did actually probably DV three Extreme Legends. Probably the one is probably up there too. Never Warriors two is probably the one is one, but uh, SW four I've actually only played through once. But I still really love the game. Greatest Sonata I've played through three or four times. Um, maybe more. I think it was three or four. I don't remember. Uh, what's another one? We'll probably also do one more battle for the stream. To fail here if we are not and if things stand as they are, that is SW1 true. I replayed probably three times. With the emperor? With SW2 I replayed sure a lot else. on PS2. I'm going to have to replay it again Even on on um, 360, so that's going to blow. If we approach Lord Simashi head on, we won't I think it's like my fifth playthrough, fifth or sixth playthrough of SW2. Of situation and attack us, we're going to have um, a fight on SW3 I only played once because I hated the game. Now is Just not plays like ass on the Wii. The uh, SW4 I only played once, simple. but I enjoyed the hell out of it. It's easily my favorite era first. of Samurai Warriors games. Rare to Sanada, I played that may about like four, case. three or four or five times. Dynasty Warriors 2, I played through once, just didn't really care for it. Um, DDB 3, I played a lot. The amount of times I had to like redo it because of either like a PS2 breaking or memory card corrupting or something. Probably about like six times for DDB 3, maybe. DDB 4, I can easily say with confidence it was like probably eight times I've replayed that game. DW5 probably three times. DW6 only once because I didn't like it. Uh, DW7 twice. No, I'd probably say three, three times. DW8 was, I played it once on 360. Then it corrupted, so I had to replay it again. Then I played it twice on uh, PS4, and then I played it again on PS5, so that's five times. So. Uh, DB9, I mean, obviously, I'm still not even fucking done with the game, but you can still... I put a lot of hours into this game. Easily one of the most hours I put into a Warriors game, apparently. But so many hours. Yep, that's ca that checks. 752. Granted, a lot of this is due to the fact that I would, like, stream it a lot. I did a lot of content on this game, and I still don't play it off screen. All of this is based off of the content that I did, and also me leaving the game off after I streamed to take a nap. That's it. But yeah, 752 hours. So this is easily one of the ones I put the most time into. It's just the amount of content I did. Um, and then... Oh, I had to follow him, he said. Okay. Sorry, bro. Go ahead. And then for Warriors Orochi, I played through one probably about six times. The second game I played through about probably four. And then Warriors Odachi 3. I'm counting 3 Ultimate as well. I played the 360 version, which was just Warriors Odachi 3. And I actually replayed it once, because I think uh I think my saves got corrupted on that one. And then I and then Warriors Odachi 3 Ultimate came out for the Xbox One, and I had to replay that one twice, I think. On both of them. Because again, save file got corrupted and it was just getting messed up. Uh then eventually I got it on PlayStation, so that's a fifth time. And then PC, so that's six. Warriors Odachi 4 Ultimate, I only replayed through once. Because it was a boring game. What's up, No? Welcome, hope you're doing good. My favorite Odachi game? Uh, in order, I'd probably say... 3 Ultimate's my favorite. 
Uh, two is number... Well, funny enough, number two. And then... Words Odyssey 1 is 3, which is a fan fantastic game. But it's just, it, it's just like, it, it it shows its age with like the XP and currency and everything. And it's just like not that great. It's not always like so much you can actually like level up in that game, I think. But uh, the story for it's fantastic. I love the first game story a lot. And they had the Gaiden missions as well, which was pretty cool. And then uh, 4 easily being my least favorite because 4 is just really boring. Very boring ass poopy. Oh yeah, I mean, I just went through it. Like I said, I just went through that. I have to, I'm gonna have to replay through Summer Warriors 2 again because uh, the save file, I guess, got corrupted or something. Because it's funny because it was saying my save file for SW2 was there on my 360, but it just kept asking if I wanted to create a new one. So I was like, no. I even tried to like make a new one on a separate save file and then try to load it in from like the menus, and it still said no. You gotta create a new one. Or like, there was like no save data found. I'm like, great. So I have to restart on SW2 again now on my 360, which blows a lot. I was like so disappointed about that. I'm gonna have to start doing that now. Good times, good times. At least the game looks looks and runs great on the 360. It, it, I love Sim Warriors 2 on the 360. Runs, looks, plays like a dream. I love SW2. But like I said, I think SW2 is my second favorite, and then um, SW4 being my number one, just because the combat's just so enjoyable in that game. Every character is super fun in that game. Ow. I'll say, we will definitely make this the last battle of the stream. So I want to relax and get uh, ready for work the next day. And potentially also get a video edited and everything. All right. I shall keep that in mind. I think SW5 will have a chance of getting an expansion anytime soon. I'm honestly starting to think no from the way it's been. Normally, like, what, a year later or something? They would at least mention an expansion of some kind, and yet it's been two years and they haven't mentioned a single thing. So I don't know. If we do get a 5-2, maybe they're just, like, wondering. Maybe maybe they heard a lot of people that were complaining about, like, the lack of, like, a big roster. And you're like, well, they'll probably expect a lot of characters in the next big roster or the next game. So I don't know. Maybe they'll just skip straight to 6. I know it's still got success. I know the game was still like pretty successful, but uh, in terms of sales, so we'll most likely get a sixth game that'll probably make the roster like probably twice as big. I wouldn't really even be hurt if they just bring back the old combat from SW4, or uh, I'm sorry, like moves, like move sets wise and everything. I know the combat's basically the exact same; they're just different weapons. But uh, bring back old weapons. I would not. I would not care if they did that at all. If they want to just reboot the story and reboot the characters a bit, I'm fine with that. It looks like the enemy transport is about to leave the capital. It's like Dynasty Warriors Nine. At least, um, at least in America, came out on February 2018. I don't know when it came out in Japan. If we take it, the enemy morale should drop. I like a type. Ba -ba -ba -da, ba -da -ba. The game was released in uh, Japan. Wait, what? The game was released in Japan on 23rd December 20. That's not true at all. Okay. Oh, there's like about nine empires. Then why did it just say regular nine, idiot? Yeah, I think maybe. Uh, I'm not sure when um, nine itself came out. I know in at least in America it came out in 2018. So it's almost six years old. It's five years old right now. It will be six years old soon. I don't know when it came out in Japan though. I think it came out like a month before. I think sometime in January it came out. For a month or two. It was either December or, or uh, January where it came out. Want to see grown up no in SW5 art style? Well, unfortunately, she's dead, so probably not going to see that happen. She is uh, full blown dead. You only see her and. Uh, 
in young form. Damn, this one's really spread out. Good lord. Oh, I can cut through here good. Who the hell is this guy? Good lord. Hands all over the place. I'm assuming they would still put her in SW6, yeah. They'll probably just do a shorter version of Nobunaga's story or something. That way they can focus on, like, Hideyoshi or something for his campaign. Like how they did in, uh, SW2. Nobunaga still had quite a few, like, bits of him, but uh, the most important, like, in SW1, mostly the main focus was Nobunaga's stories. And then SW2 came around and they focused mostly on Hideyoshi and then the, uh, the Battle of Sekigahara all the way to uh, all the way to Osaka. They still had Osaka, but they, at least if you played with Yukimura, they kind of just like did like a couple battle. Like mostly it was like young, older battles, and then they skipped right over to like Osaka. It was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of seeing like characters go from like young to old. I would have not have minded if they just maybe did like a thing for Nobunaga where he had um, just like. The same design as his old design, his older design. But then they just kind of did the Liu Bei effect where he just didn't have a goatee and then all of a sudden he got a goatee. Like, I wouldn't have cared. Granted, I do love Mitsuhide's design, though. I love Mitsuhide's look so much, so I'm glad that they aged him up. Both designs are great, but his oldest design is probably my favorite of all time. This Sima family is making a fool of the Emperor. So then, why are you aiding those traitorous dogs? So that is Shaho Shuen. Maybe his relative Master Shaho Ba might be able to convince him. Bro, why did you say that a little bit sooner? Did I fail for that? I'm not even strong enough to bring down judgment upon a traitor. Forgive me, Your Highness. Uh. Whoops. All right, I didn't fail though. I'll take it. I didn't do it the way it was intended, but, you know, fuck it. Oh, there's still another objective over there. Yeah, sorry about that, Shahoba. I guess you won't get the chance to talk to your relative. That's my bad. I just fucking killed him immediately. Imagine if in the Naruto time skip only Sasuke and Naruto aged. Yeah, no, that's pretty much what it felt like, yeah. That's one of the weird things about aging up characters in these games with only aging like a ha like a couple characters. In this case, in this game, the only one who aged was Liu Bei. And everyone else has stayed the same. Grant, all he did was just grow facial hair, so it wasn't like it was a super big like age thing, but it still counts as age progression. He's the only one who had it though. I mean it's the same thing with Spirit of Sanada. Spirit of Sanada uh Hey Kunoichi, for instance. Kunoichi was it was like a like a young adult, or like a teenager at least, when Yukimura was still a, like a tiny boy. And then, later down the line, obviously Yukimura became an old man and Kunoichi was still like a teenager. It was like, what? Let's finish the job. She went from defending the boy and then having a crush on the old man. While not aging herself, so yeah, trust me. The the aging thing that they did, I think it was only Masayuki, Yukimura, Nobuyuki. Um, Ieyasu and Hide uh, Hidetada were the only ones that aged up. If I'm not, if I remember correctly, everyone else didn't though. She used Jutsu to hide her real age. Good save. Yeah, I'm assuming every almost every character that's in SW5 will come back in SW6. It's just they just won't have as much of a prominent role, I feel. That's the only thing about it. This proves 
but nothing is impossible for me. Wow, you have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors. Thanks, Shahaba. I almost believed you with that tone of voice. Alright, so that's all the objectives. Alright, let's go finish this up. That is such an unnecessarily long, like, carpet. Holy shit. I think the age progression thing is pretty cool, but at the end of the day, I feel like they should have just probably, like, just not done it. Since they weren't going to age up every character. It just feels awkward only aging up, like, a couple characters and leaving everyone else to just, like, be the same age. So I probably would just have left it the way it was. I win! Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. What's the improvement on DB9 like right now? Uh how could my tactics fail like that? It runs a bit better. The DLC's fun. Uh they did some free updates with like a bodyguard system. They did free updates for like a animal guardian system. Gave some new horses and did some like bug fixes here and there, but it's still by no means a good game like a perfect game. Not even close. It's better than it was on launch. But uh, it's nothing like super substantial. So you mean to hand me over to the SEMA clan, do you? Do not jest. You think I'd go to as much trouble as that? What benefit would that serve us? Then why did you interfere? As Emperor of Wei, I cannot allow the SEMA clan to simply do as they please. There's no need for you to go about spouting flames. I simply wish to create the world of my dreams and for you to rule over it as emperor. What? But did you not swear an oath of loyalty to the Sima clan? At the moment, serving them just happens to make them easier to handle. It's not as if I intended to let them wield the authority forever. Speaking that way to the Emperor. <laughs> Is there no end to your arrogance? Zhang Hui, you and I share the same vision. Why not walk together along the same path as allies? It's a terrible news! Uh-oh. Our army has suffered a major defeat at Mount Tailung. Master Huo Huai was killed, and Lord Sima Shi has been severely wounded. Oh. Hold on. You must be jesting. Lord Sima Shi. It would seem this is fate. Looks like it's finally time I step up and take action. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that battle, actually. Yeah, I forgot that actually happens. Also, work 20 likes on the stream. Thank you all very much for that love. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, the the dubbing for it, it's like generics definitely have like suppressing the revolt more funny emotion, while the other a lot of the playable characters are just like deadpanned. And again, there are some good voice acting in this game. It's just won over those from not a lot. Starting with Cao Feng, the various members of the new Cao family group, like Xia Hoba, all became his pawns. During that time, oh, there's his mask. the arrow wounds suffered by Sima Shi at Mount Tai Lung festered, resulting in death. Oh, he's just dead. Okay. I thought they would have changed that up a little his bit. His younger brother, Sima Zhao, became the heir. Sima Zhao takes the field against Wu and Shu, determined to bring the chaos to an end. Around this time, Zhang Hui also begins to act to achieve his own ambitions. 
Yeah, I think someone recommended one of the Gundam games to me, so I gotta try that out soon. It is only a matter of time before word we'll uh, we'll let this play out and then we'll uh, throughout the other kingdom. Finish up for the when day. When that happens, it will likely rouse U and Shu to attack us. Lord Sima Zhao, please focus on making sure matters are stable within our kingdom. Meanwhile, I'll finish off the U forces weakened from the recent battle. After that's finished, you'll be able to unify the land in no time. Unify the land? After the three kingdoms have been unified, what are we to do next? Are you opposed to what Lord Sima Shi had aimed for? No. My brother told me to gather brilliant men and create a new age. But now that I've been entrusted with the rest, I'll do what is expected of me. I was simply wondering, if you were the one who ruled the land, what kind of world would you want to create? Yeah, I played Sagubasar quite a bit on the channel. Excuse me, sir. I played that game a lot. Master Zhongkui, preparations to deploy are complete. I like his black outfit, even if he is an it ass. Seems time is up. It's a great outfit. I, I like right. I said, Zhongkui has not had a bad design. Another time. Ah, like I said, I think seven, nine, and then eight in that out. order are my favorites out of the three. Superior to Koei games in every way? Eh, wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that far. So Goku Basara's definitely got a lot of fun gameplay to it. But uh story-wise, eh. Start to unifying the land will first defeat U. They are on their I wouldn't go that breaths. crazy. This time we end it. All right, and I think it's going to be where we finish up for the day. For the day. It's going to be it. Went for about a little uh, little over an hour and a half today. Finished up quite a few battles. Who knows? Maybe we'll come back to it and finish up the rest of it. We'll see. But uh, for now, at least, we are going to be wrapping up here for today. Got to get ready for work and everything. Get all cleaned up and ready. But... It was a nice little. Uh, it was a nice. Fu Shut the fuck Zhang up, Ding Funk. Shut the fuck up. I will not allow Shut your mouth. Anyone to destroy this beautiful land. We've but yeah, uh, we'll be wrap. Yeah, we'll be uh, making the schedule. I'll be making the schedule for this week. Right. Again, I don't know what I'll really be doing. It'll mostly probably just be some nice, fun, chill streams to just chill out, chill out, hang out, and stuff. Uh, one of the games is going to be called, I think. Uh, why is that good? That Wu forces are rallying. That's bad. Why would it be in blue text with the happy sound effect? <sighs> This is pretty bad. But Where are my right, shut up, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'll um I'll be trying to see what I want to do for the rest of the week. Again, there was that game Coffee Talk that I might at least try out at least once. See if I enjoy it or not, see if anyone else enjoys it or not. It's a nice little chill, like kind of like reading game of making coffee and everything. Seems like it's it's from what I played, it seems like a nice chill game. Maybe we'll try that one out. And uh I'll try to figure out what else I'm doing for the rest of the week. Maybe try if I don't have anything planned, uh, maybe Thursday we'll play uh, more Warriors Auto G2. We'll see. If not, we'll play it either Sunday or Monday for sure. But yeah, everybody. Wanted to say again, thank you all very much for tuning into today's stream. Whether you were chatting in the chat, lurking, smash the like button, all that stuff. Greatly appreciate it. If you're someone's watching this later or watching this right now and you've not done so yet and you enjoyed this and you want to see some more of Dynasty Warriors 9 with Zhang Hui's DLC, then by all means, go ahead and smash the like button. Let's really you guys want to see more of this in the future. And if you're new to the channel, if you like the content that you see, be sure to hit that sub button. We are trying to hit 5k by the end of this year. That being said, chat, look at those of you watch later. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I will be seeing y'all in the next one. Farewell.